we are asked to find the values of x all values of x okay we come to today's lesson and let's get straight to the point okay the first thing we need to do is let's try to factorize this because i want to bring out difference of two squares from here okay so what do i mean when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n okay this is something as a to the power of m times n so that simply means that i can rewrite x to the power of six as x to the power of three raised to the power of two right because three times two will give us six is equal to two to the power of three raised to the power of two as well okay so we can now write x to the power of three raised to the power of two i want to transfer this to the left hand side of the equation so minus two to the power of three raised to the power of two is equal to zero now, I'll form the difference of two squares that I was talking about. Now, let's recall our algebra identity that states that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Okay? So, if that is the case, in this case, our a is x to the power of 3, while our b is 2 to the power of 3. So, that means we are going to have a squared that is x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, all right? Multiplied by x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. So that simply means that we have two parts to this equation. That is x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. And x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now, we are going to treat the first case, okay? Let's start with that. So, from case one, I want us to remember our um, algebra identity that states that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared, okay? All right. Now, our a is x and our b is 2. So to express this in this form, we will write a minus b, that is x minus 2, multiplied by a squared, that is x squared, minus, sorry, plus ab, that is 2 times x, that is 2x. Now plus b squared, that is 2 squared, which will give us 4, all right? And this is equal to 0. Then we'll write that x minus 2 is equal to 0. And x squared plus 2x plus 4 is also equal to 0. Then when we solve the left-hand side, okay, when we solve this side, we have that x is equal to 2, okay? And this is the first value of our x. Then for this side, we have, when you look at this, we cannot solve this by factorization, or can we? No, we can't. So we are going to make use of the quadratic equation formula to do that. Now, the quadratic equation formula states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Okay? All right. Now, we can write, recall that this is what we've not solved. x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Let me just write it somewhere. That should be our second case. We are still on the first case. All right. Now we have that x is equal to, I'm trying to solve this now, minus b. Now, this I forget. Our uh, a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our uh, b is the coefficient of x, which is 2. And our uh, c is our constant, which is 4. Okay? So if we substitute these values into this particular equation, we have that x is equal to minus b, that is minus 2, plus or minus square root of b squared, that is 2 squared, minus 4ac, that is 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 4. All right? Now, everything divided by 2a, that is 2 multiplied by 1. Now, we have that x is equal to minus 2, plus or minus square root of 4, minus 16 divided by 2. Okay, now let's continue. Let us continue. Now we have that x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 12 divided by 
2. Okay? So our x is minus 2 plus or minus. Now, square root of 12 can be expressed as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 3 multiplied by square root of minus 1 divided by 2. So our x will now be minus 2 plus or minus. This is 2, right? Root 3. And square root of minus 1 is i divided by 2. Now, we can get our x2 and our x3 from here, right? So when x minus 2 is divided by 2, you are going to have minus 1 plus or minus. Then when 2 is divided by 2, you are left with root 3i. So this simply means that, okay, our x2 will be minus 1 plus root 3i. And our x3 will be equal to minus 1 minus root 3i. All right, if this is the first time you are going across this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell. So I'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Now we have gotten three values of x remaining. How many? Let's go. Okay. Now we just finished solving the first case. Now this is the second case. Remember that x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. So that is exactly what we are going to solve now. Okay. Now the second case, case 2. We have that x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2, sorry, plus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to what? 0. Excuse me. Now, we are going to recall that a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to a plus b, okay, multiplied by a squared minus ab plus b squared. So if we should express this in this form, then we are going to have a to the power of, so it's going to be a plus 2, right? That is x plus 2, sorry. x plus 2, all right? Multiplied by a squared, that is x squared, minus ab, that is 2x. Then plus b squared, that is 2 squared, which is 4, is equal to what? 0. <laughs> Now, we are going to have that x plus 2 is equal to 0, and that x squared minus 2x plus 4 is also equal to 0. Now, from here, we have that x is equal to minus 2, okay? And from here, we have that our x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, okay? Everything divided by 2a, okay? Now, we continue our journey. <laughs> now, you have that x then is equal to, permit me to clean this. We have gotten three values of x already, remember. All right, so we have that. In this case, our a here, our a in this particular equation here is what? One, the coefficient of x squared. Our b this time around is minus two, okay? This minus two. Our c is equal to four. That is our constant. Therefore, let's substitute x is equal to minus b. That is minus minus 2, which will give us 2, plus or minus square root of b squared. That is minus 2 squared, which will give us 4. Minus 4ac, 4 times 4 times 1, which will give us 16. All right? Divided by 2a, that is 2 times 1. So x is 2 plus or minus square root of minus 12, divided by 2. All right. Now, we have that our x is equal to 2 plus or minus. When we solve this, we got what? We got um, 2 root 3i, right? 2 root 3i divided by 2. So, we now have that x is equal to 1 plus or minus root 3i. Therefore, x, okay, let's, I forgot, I forget, this is x. Four, all right now that means that our x5 is 1 plus root 3i why our x6 is 1 minus root 3i that is these are the words the values of our x please give us give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video